Hi folks, Technivorous here. Welcome to my Kira playlist. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button so you can find your way back here. I update often. That said, as you may have noticed, Kira settings can be very simple or very in-depth. So I took the time to make a video about each section in the custom settings menu, and I'm going to quickly go over the important settings each section contains and briefly explain them. Are you ready? Good, let's go. This is Kira settings in five minutes or less. Now we are getting into our retraction settings. So let's go to line type here. Uh, this way you can see what's going on with retraction a little bit. And I have it, it enabled. You can see there are several settings below it that all start with retraction. Those are all going to be basically what we're working with here. And with it enabled, basically what's going to happen is when it gets to a end of a line right here where it's going to raise up and start printing somewhere else, basically it's going to pull the filament back into the head a little bit so it reduces stringing and doesn't leave any dragging blobs or lines of filament between that and its next point of filament placement. Now the amount that you retract and the speed that you retract at are both very much based on your machine. For my Ender 3, I do pretty well using five millimeters retraction at 45 millimeters per second. The prime, extra prime amount, is how much extra filament it's going to push back into the tube, and I leave that at zero because the primer at five millimeter retraction tends to prime exactly where I need it to without having any extra filament for blobbing or stringing. But you can turn that up if you're not extruding right away after a retraction and it's taking a second for the filament to replace what was pulled back, um, you can definitely turn that up a little bit and increase the amount that's popped forward on the, on the first initial prime. Um, the retraction minimum travel is basically saying if it travels less than this amount, it won't, tra it won't retract because it takes longer to retract than to just travel. So um, we're gonna go over these other settings separately but retraction is something that you definitely need if you want to have clean corners. Um, the inside of this model here, where it comes uh, to this point here, uh, the outer edge and goes around these are spots where you see a lot of retraction and you can see that in the travel here on the corners. These blue lines are travel lines where it's retracting and then traveling across and starting printing on the other side and then maybe going to here and retracting and traveling back so um, these are places where I would have zits or little blobs of filament sticking out on the corners if I didn't have my retraction turned on so this is very good for model quality and it'll also save you a lot of filament in the long run because it reduces stringing which ends up being waste and if you don't recycle your filament uh, strings actually add up quite quickly if you're printing on mass so as always, this channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. That's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it for my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a Technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.